getting ready to whoop this nigga's ass. Get that and that, my belt. Uh huh. Let's get it. <laughs> Woo! What is happening, Magnus Sites? Make sure you get your game face shirts in the description box below. Now! I was very excited when I read the title to this article. The Batman will be a noir-driven detective version of Batman, says director Matt Reeves. Now, what got me excited was detective version of Batman. Was not exactly sure what noir meant. Because I've seen it before, I've read it before, I've heard it before, but still wasn't exactly sure. And all that rhymed, don't hate to play it, hate the game, bars, nigga. Now, noir. Well, let's see how it sounds here. Noir. 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 A genre of crime or film characterized by cynicism, fatalism, and moral ambiguity. That sounds like the type of Batman film I'd like to see. Let's check out this article. It says Matt Reeves hasn't said much about the Batman during the war, during his War of the Planet of the Apes interviews, mostly because he hasn't started working on it yet. But in a new interview with New Trailer Buzz, Reeves gave us the biggest clue yet as to what fans can expect from his Batman movie. There's a chance to do an almost noir-driven detective version of Batman that is point of view driven in a very powerful way that will hopefully connect you to what is going on inside his head, Reeves said. It's interesting. Check out the full interview below. In a noir-driven detective version of Batman, something you're excited to see is a noir-driven. Yes, it is something I am excited to see. You damn right I'm excited for something like that. You know, I've said to you guys before about how, you know, um, we really haven't got that master super intelligent genius detective like we've never gotten that you know what i'm saying like we've seen him kick ass oh i told you was, i think i said it was two things i wanted i really wanted the true martial artist mighty raccoon portrayed him that way in their um batman versus iron man um skit that was great i loved the way he was fighting i was just like wow he's just not doing this regular punches and kicks there's a finesse and there is a style signature of certain, you know, martial arts in this. And also, I wanted to see this super genius detective that was able to get out of everything and figure everything out. Um, because in the, uh, the, in the movies, we get more, you know, we get the brooding um, and the kicks and the punches. And the closest we got to the um, super martial artist was the Batman warehouse scene, which I absolutely love and I am not complaining about it, okay, at all. I, that's basically, it's my, my, my favorite Batman scene of all time, period, on TV, period, point blank. Um, but, um, I, that finesse and style, because he's mastered so many martial arts, it might be cool. I remember watching a Van Damme movie a few years ago, and this is before MMA really got super hot, but it was when it was gaining traction. And he got in a fight with in the elevator with this dude, and they started grappling. And I was like, oh shit, he's grappling on the floor of this fucking elevator with this guy. Wouldn't it be fucking crazy to see Batman getting some to some type of grappling war I mean it don't have to go on for five minutes of the fight but you know or you know something just something just you know really like wow that was some martial arts shit not just kicks and punches that are kind of rather generic like he was a savage in that scene you know 
Um, he was really a savage. I mean, he, yes, yes, the, whoever his stunt double is, yeah, look, I'm not, like I said, I'm not complaining. He had plenty of style. It's, well, he had style. But I'm talking about something that is where you're like, holy shit, who did this guy study under? This just isn't some some big strong man in a bat costume fucking people up with punches and kicks. You know what I'm saying? Like if certain things were, I don't know, you know, I just want to see a flying kick or, um, you know, I'm not, I'm talking about, you know, something like I said that is signature of martial arts. You know what going to be well, he did jump kick on somebody in the warehouse. I'm not in the warehouse scene. That's not what I'm talking about. The real martial artists know what I'm talking about, and I'm not even a real martial artist. I'm just a martial artist fan. So, you know, shit. I mean, I don't care. He could one-inch punch somebody, you know? Like, oh, shit! You know, that's a wink. That's an Easter egg. Like, yo, this dude knows martial arts. Could you imagine that? So imagine Batman jumping down in front of somebody, cape flapping, he moved the cape out of the way so you can see everything, so a slow motion flap, and then you see him extend the arm. Bah! That would be incredible! Okay? That's what I'm talking about, but anyway. I'm talking about the detective, this is talking about the detective thing, guys. Right? So martial artist uh, plus the detective. That's what I need for it to really truly be Batman for me. Cause we've gotten all the gadgets, we've gotten the brooding, we've gotten the cool costumes, we've gotten the gadgets, the, the, the car, the, the tanks, the bad the planes, we've gotten all that, the great looks of Batman, but we have not gotten the martial arts master and the super genius detective. And you know, Batman returns, you know, he knows who his parents are. Something else. Okay. And he walked up in there, you know, to be the Oswald one's red giant guy. I can't prove it yet, but how how did you even figure it out? You know what I'm saying? Like I wanna see something where you, yeah, they say he's gonna show what he's thinking and what's going on in his mind so we can really see this shit. He figures shit out in these other movies, but it's not like what we're used to to knowing of Batman. The DC comic book um, animated movies actually do that really well though so, but anyway post comments down below let me know what you all think if you enjoyed my video hit the like button subscribe and share if you did not you can kiss my batman loving derriere 10 million subscribers Woo! you may now subscribe